this piece needs to come off and then it should just pull right off. There's a little bit of radiator fluid in it. Before yeah, replacing this, uh, we're gonna, look, I have this wrench here. We're gonna try to suck this antifreeze out to have uh, minimum waste. We'll see how much it's actually in there. Doesn't feel like it's, it's that much. It's no so we're gonna use this uh, pick. Uh, show me the pick. Okay. Nope. Let's pry up on it. Yeah, I'm prying up on it. It's really in there. There we go. And the reason we're replacing this is because this tip right here, it basically broke off. It barely holds on there. Once we take the hose off, we'll show it to you. Yeah, like you see that tip basically just broke <laughs> off and it's uh, um, that's custom. in there. Oh, that's a custom made. But this is what it was. So okay. we're gonna go ahead and replace that. Yeah, put a screwdriver in here. Try to wedge it. Take it easy. We'll go up and down with it. Slowly coming off. There we go. And of course, you always want to compare your new part to an old part. Make sure it's identical. If it's not identical, you're going to have problems. And uh, there should be a gasket inside. It almost feels like uh, it's almost like plastic, but it should be technically rubber. But yeah, it's it's in there. It's right there on the edge. Too different. This should just simply just push on. Probably like best. Idea. Probably best if we put some uh, make the gasket just a little bit wet so it slides on there good. They just push it right on. There we go. And then we have this tip that came with it. And you want to make sure that it's facing this way, the sharp edge that way. So when it's being pulled, it can't be pulled out. Whoops, right on there like that. And just put your hoses back on. And then just refill with antifreeze and you're good to go. And of course, once you refill it, test drive it and make sure nothing is leaking.